How you doing guys and welcome back to the channel. Gary here. Uh, so the reason why you're here is probably because you're having trouble with your Solus data logger. You're not uh, seeing any information when you log in uh, either through browser or if you use the app, it's showing that the data logger is offline. This is most likely because you've installed batteries and you've made some changes to your settings on the inverter. Hopefully the problem is quite simple to fix and most likely it is. So first of all, if you look at your data logger here, you, depending on the model of the data logger you have, um, this will vary, but the lights should be the same anyway. On this particular model, we have the reset button right here on the top. This solid green light is the network LED. Uh, this solid amber or orange light is the comms light, and that's the one that you might be having an issue with. And obviously we have the red LED light down here as well for power. So once the data logger is connected to the inverter and the inverter is powered on, you should have the red power light. Once it's connected to the network, uh, in other words, you have all of your Wi-Fi settings um, set up on the data logger. The green light should be solid. And ideally, once everything is connected and communicating, basically the data logger needs to communicate with the inverter, that light should be solid. Now, it should be solid 99% of the time. Occasionally, it will just start flashing as it's trying to get a connection to the inverter. Um, but if in your case, as I imagine the reason why you're here, if this is just flashing intermittently, flashing every few seconds and then going off, not get, not actually getting a solid connection at any stage, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to look at the baud rate or the baud rate. Um, that's basically the frequency or the amount of information that can go through the RS-485 cable. It's, it's how um, electronics um, communicate with each other. Let's not go into any detail here. Let's just keep it nice and simple. So what you're gonna wanna do is take a look at the inverter. Let's get into the menu. So we'll select enter. You're gonna to wanna to go down to advanced settings select enter and it's zero zero one and enter we can see here the baud rate for the rs485 let's move up to that and enter as you can see here baud rate is 9600 the baud rate can be changed we want it at 9,600, but just to show you, these are the options, 38,400, 19,200, and back to 9,600. So you only have the three settings. 9,600 is what you want. The reason why you want 9,600 is, apparently the sensitivity level um, is a little bit too high when you switch to any higher baud rate and it loses the connection and potentially fries the connection between the data logger and the inverter in my situation it was actually fine having it at the 19,200 I had it like that for several months um, but I learned of a number of people having difficulty with the communications their app going offline not getting any information uh, from their inverter and um, basically destroying the data logger apparently from what I've heard so put it at 9,600 press enter escape save and send here we go that's all done so once that's been done you can reset your inverter but you really shouldn't have to do that um, and what you'll find is this will then start to flash and then you'll get a solid light once you have a solid light on the data logger the amber light of course they all should be solid then you should be able to get a connection. You'll be able to log into your browser or log into the app and you'll be able to get the information that you're looking for. So you'll be able to see what's happening um, with your inverter. Um, not in real time uh, with the Solus, as many of you probably already know, it's every five minutes um, you'll get a snapshot and an update of what's happening. 
Um, of course, then you'll have your historical data available to you. So you'll be able to see um, how much soil you've generated, um, how much power has uh, you know gone through the grid, through the inverter, um, battery states, all that kind of stuff. You'll be able to get all that good stuff you're looking for. It is okay if you see the orange light flashing real quickly here from time to time. That's normal behavior. It'll, you know, it'll constantly disconnect and reconnect itself. It really isn't an issue. At least it hasn't been in my case. And that's what I believe is normal behavior. That'll lock on solid after a few seconds and then everything's fine. So guys, I really hope this has solved your problem. Um, if you haven't tried it yet, give it a try. It, it should fix it. Almost every case um, that I've heard of where the data logger has stopped communicating. There we are, look, we have solid again. When the data logger stops communicating, it's because the baud rate has been changed because somebody has installed batteries and has been advised even by me on uh, one particular video where I've changed the description, you've been advised to change it to 19,200. That's not necessary. The 19,200 um, baud rate is for the uh, CEPLOS uh, BMS communicating uh, between the software and the BMS. That's what you use the baud rate for. 19,200 is normally fine uh, on the inverter and it was fine for me, didn't cause any problems, but I just changed it back to 9,000 600 because that's what um, apparently Solus or Jean Long have advised uh, to do. If this has been useful, has been helpful for you, please leave a like, subscribe. I appreciate the support. It's great to see. Uh, love helping people. Um, love hearing that you know other people are switching to solar, and I've been able to you know help you solve some of those problems. It's great. So hopefully this is another problem that's been solved. Uh, until the next video and there will be another video in the next two to three weeks uh, sorry this one has been so long coming um we introduced uh, another little uh, family member and uh, two and a half weeks ago now at this stage so it's been absolutely crazy but i will be adding to this system something that a lot of you have been waiting on um you'll see what that is in the next uh, couple of weeks so uh, keep watching Again, like, subscribe, and you won't miss what's coming next. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.